It's May the 19th. It's after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You know when you see something like this, we're in Amish country. And that we are, we are in Iowa. In Lamoni, Iowa. At I-35 and US-69. We're at the Amish country store in the Iowa Welcome Center. I'm hoping they have some postcards or something here to buy. And a map, because I left the map book in the car. And there's the Teamster! Teamsters! Woohoo! He's coming. I'm like, what are you doing, you crazy bastard? And that I am. But I'm a proud Teamster retiree. Got that pension with the health insurance. Allows us to do all this traveling and the freedom, the true freedom we have to go anywhere we want, anytime we want. Here's our 360, a beautiful green Iowa. Look at the baby right there. Oh, he's a baby boy. Now we're going to go inside and see what they have to sell us and use the bathroom. So here's, here's your 360 of the Welcome Center. Here we are inside of the Amish store and the Welcome Center. They had a map of the state for me. They have some really good smelling food in here, but we need to be careful because we're watching what we're eating and having Leandra over the weekend, we ate very badly. We ate stuff that we shouldn't eat. So we're gonna get back on the swing of things. Right, boss? So here's our store. There's the boss in all her radiant beauty. And there you go. Our next stop finds us in either Leon or Leon, which is the county seat of Duncater Dun County here in Iowa. This is at the intersection of US 69 and Iowa 2. And we're taking Iowa 2 next week to, to, to cross over into Missouri to get on to Nebraska 2 to take us to Nebraska City for a few days. But we're going to take that off of I-35, which is west of here, uh, a few miles. And now here we have the Decatur County Courthouse. I don't know when it was built. We'll have to look for the sign. I can see it now. 1907. I'll go take some stills of that. I'm not sure if the clock is right. It says it's about 10 after 3. And then here's our replica of Liberty Lights the World, or the Statue of Liberty, which was a present given to us by the French. We owe the French, but we paid the French back in World War I and World War II. So even though we owe them a part of our independence, they weren't really fighting for our independence, they were fighting the British. And it would just help them out that they helped us. Anyway, then these um, um, buildings seem to have names or dates. The Hy-Vee is out here too. The Hy-Vee is in Kansas City and we shopped, the, we bought salmon at the Hy-Vee and it was good. So we're going to go shop at Hy-Vee next week, I think. We're going to shop at Price Chopper tomorrow when Maureen goes into town to do some laundry. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so... Anyway, here's our 360, and we'll see what's next. I'm standing in the street in back of the courthouse. You can see some of these older uh, buildings here. Now we're coming into the post office, which I'm going to go and buy me some more postcard stamps. I think I lost a roll. Or else I used up more than I thought. I'm not sure. And here's the back of the Decatur County Courthouse, built in 1907. I think we're almost done here. We'll see what's next. Here we are inside the historic Leon Post Office in Leon, Iowa. You can see the old um, uh, post office boxes and the old uh, lettering on the wood. and the painting on the wall of Iowa farmers growing corn and wheat. 
This is a really sharp wooden building. The gal said it was, it's always been the post office. But she couldn't tell me exactly how old the building was. But it's old. So we're done here in Leon and we're gonna press on and see what's next. Our next stop finds us in Osceola, Iowa. The county seat of Clark County, C-L-A-R-K-E. They got some sharp old buildings in back here. Here's the movie house. And then we're gonna pan on the C.V. Oliphant building. This kind of peach and colored one with the teal and the white. And then the post office with the flag flying. We're gonna start heading west after this. I think on US 34, the number of champions, which I wore when I played basketball and softball for the scurvy dog so long ago. It's the number of champions from Nolan Ryan to Walter Payton to Fernando Valenzuela. Didn't Bo Jackson wear 34? I love Bo Jackson. He wore 16 for the Angel, um, for the Royals, but I think he wore 34 for Oakland. I like this uh, building here with that uh, uh, feature, that, that round feature over the corner. I, I, I somebody told me what that was once, and I I can't recall. You know my memory is failing. Anyway, here's our 360 in back of uh, the, the Clark County Courthouse in Osceola, Iowa. According to the old painted sign on the side, this building here in Osceola, Iowa, on the corner of Washington and Maine, Maine being US 69, was built in 1903. And then we have the uh, Masons building. And we're going to walk over here a little bit because I think one of these other buildings was built in 1902. So we're going to walk across the grass. They're out here mowing today. Anyway, this um, family sports in the yellow is the SS Dalby building built in 1902. And then the rest of the square and then we're going to get to the courthouse. It's really nondescript, which is kind of too bad. I like these old uh, towns with the old courthouse. It's always sad when the courthouse gets torn down or damaged or by a tornado or something happens and they have to build it. And it's uh, never as fancy, never as ornate as it used to be. But then again, try putting modern electronics in a hundred year old building. I know that my stepbrother Big James taxes his wiring all the time. His uh, panel because he's got ancient wiring in his hundred year old house. Hundred or 110, I forget. It's old though. So anyway, here's another 360 at the front of the uh, Clark County Courthouse in Osceola, Iowa. Still on the courthouse square, we see the uh, the phone pole in the way, and we, we see the uh, gazebo here, the outdoor stage. A lot of these uh, benches are uh, sponsored by local businesses. Now we're getting back to some of the older stuff. The M.M. Bayshore building, or Bayshore, in 1895, where, where the Whirlpool place is. And then right across the alley is a J.W. Bowden building, built in 1900. I think it's just where the sign is. I don't, I don't think it's um, part of this six-window uh, building thing. I think that's uh, different. They've got different brick to them. So we're almost done here. We're gonna start heading back. We're gonna head west on 34 till we get to Interstate 29, still in Iowa. And then we're gonna check our time. I think it's uh, pushing four o'clock and we're, 
we're going to want to eat. Sonny Gray's uh, pitching tonight. We certainly want to watch him try to salvage an otherwise dismal A season. So here you have it.